Devin Haney is looking massive size-wise as he moves up for an upcoming Regis Pro Grade fight. Oh yeah, and peep this. He's doing a little work with Freddie Roach. Doing some mitt work. Let's talk about it. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. This clip leaked on the internet, and Devin Haney is putting in work. So this is going to be part Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ill where I'll give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks, especially when they have an upcoming fight. Now, if you like boxing, you know this December, it's about to go down. Everything gets answered December 9th. Haney versus WBC champion Regis Progray. I'm really looking forward to the fight, and Devin Haney is putting in the work. Now, Devin Haney is coming from lightweight, 135, and he has decided to move up. Some people threw this out there, said he was ducking Shakur by moving up. But we got to really level the playing field and get some of the bogus talking points or speakers out of the boxing game because it's getting ugly. If anybody's saying that Devin Haney would, where he was undisputed, so keep in mind, mind you, he has a better resume at the division than Shakur Stevenson. This is not a knock on Shakur Stevenson. It's not saying he's he's not a great fighter or a challenging fighter. Not even saying that Shakur can't beat Devin Haney. I don't know. They got to fight. But what I am saying is the guy with the better resume at the division particularly, who just fought Vasil Lomachenko in a very tough fight, fought Jojo Diaz Jr. and Jorge Linares, former champion, fought George Cambosis, the guy who beat Teofimo Lopez and Teo didn't rematch. And he did it in his backyard twice in Australia. You got to give him props. So to suggest that Devin Haney is ducking Shakur Stevenson, who has one fight in the division, and it just doesn't make sense. Why would you duck somebody by moving up and fighting an awkward southpaw with more power than Shakur Stevenson? Because I do believe Regis Progre at 140 has more power. So Shakur is a southpaw. Regis Progray is a southpaw. The difference is Regis Progray is a career-long 140-pounder. He's hurting guys like Zapata. He stopped, who Richardson Hitchens beat up but didn't stop. And he's shown power in the division where he actually fights. So you're moving up to his division, and Shakur just got to 135. So he's new to the division. And again, I believe Regis Progray, they're both southpaws, so that's a wash. But Regis Prograde definitely has more power than Shakur Stevenson, especially in the higher weight class, in my opinion, my humble opinion. So those narratives were stupid. Now you have Devin Haney who's moving up. I think you got to give him a lot of props. He deserves a lot of props because, as I've been saying throughout this video, that you're fighting an awkward southpaw who's definitely confident and he's only once beaten and he lost to a guy who later became undisputed, which is Josh Taylor. So really no shame in that and he was in the world boxing super series it's a dangerous fight i think people in modern boxing are almost desensitized by social media when it comes to boxing like people somehow some way were thinking that jermel charlo was going to move up 14 pounds to this foreign brand new weight class and do all these things with canelo alvarez and it's like, this is not a video game, bro. This is not, weight classes exist for a reason. You think you're just going to go up 
to another man's division, bypass another division. So you're basically moving up two weight classes and then you're just going to easily handle somebody. It's just like that doesn't make sense. And the other thing that doesn't make sense is I feel like some people aren't necessarily putting full respect on some of the upcoming fights like Devin Haney and Regis Progre. That's a tough fight. Also, David Benavidez and Demetrius Andre. That's another fight on paper. It's tough. Now, if one of these fighters, Regis Progre, Devin Haney, or Demetrius Andre or David Benavidez, if they can make it look easy, I'll be very impressed. If, if they just effortlessly whoop the other person and there's no resistance, it's not a good fight, I would be surprised. Because on paper, I see these as being very complex and very good fights, very fun fights, where the winner is going to get a lot of credit, at least from me, if they win fair and square. So I like what I'm seeing from Devin. I like his mentality. He's young. He, I've said the same thing. Devin Haney has had money since he was younger. His dad had money. He had notoriety. Like people, Devin was one of the fighters where he was in Vegas so all the like fighters before him, like Floyd Mayweather, Yuri Yorkis Gamboa, and all the people who were in or either fighting in Vegas or training in Vegas, they got to see a, a very young Devin Haney. So he's been on the scene and that lifestyle and being not necessarily under the lights because you have to be the person in the spotlight for that, but just seeing the bright lights, he's he's not foreign to that. Like he's probably been to Mayweather fights when he was younger, things like that. He sparred with Jesse Vargas, all these types of things. So he got work with people who came before him. He's living in Vegas. That's a fight capital. That's one of them, you know, one of the fight capitals in boxing. So you get to see a lot. So the point I'm making is the money and the fame and just the spotlight or limelight. He's had a lot of time to adjust to that because he's kind of been cultivated and he's come up in this circuit in a popping place like Vegas where big fights happen. So I'm liking the progression that I'm seeing from Devin Haney. He looks very focused. As far as him working with Freddie Roach, I'm not going to overly comment on it because this is something that just recently leaked. So I don't know the extent. I don't know if he's bringing in Freddie Roach as a pair of eyes for this Regis Pro Grade fight, or if he's just in LA, so he's getting some work in with the legendary trainer. But either way, this is a great thing because Freddie Roach, his whole gym blew up for having a Manny Pacquiao. I want to, I believe I will. I will, will, um, I want De uh, Devin Henney and right so that's freddie roach that's his whole glow up was freddie roach working with manny pacquiao that's his prize pupil that's how he got it on and popping right so that's one of the greatest southpaws that the game of boxing has ever seen so as far as i'm concerned devin haney doing any level of work with somebody who worked with a premier southpaw and i think kodo is naturally a southpaw as well right but Freddie Roach has a lot of experience with these legendary Southpaws. So I'm not mad one bit at Devin Haney picking Freddie Roach's brain. He just has a lot of big fight experience. He's worked with great Southpaws. And Devin Haney's about to fight a Southpaw, as I've stated, in Regis Progress. So any way you slice it, it makes sense. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew, where I give you a look into the fighter lifestyle before, after, and progress picks when they have that upcoming fight. Devin Haney is looking massive. I've watched Devin Haney grow, like pause, but I watched him grow from a younger age when he was like 15, 14, 15 to now, and he's put on some size. Devin Haney has publicly stated that he is open to the idea of returning to 135 pounds. He's he said this recently, right? He says if it's the right opportunity to right fight, he would consider it. But from what I'm seeing, I'm not his dad. I'm not Bill Haney. I'm not his coach. You know, I'm not an advisor. But from what I'm seeing, the ego eye test, ego weight watchers, 
I truly don't see how he's going to go back down to 135 and be at his best because he looks bigger. Like this looks bigger than what I've ever seen him look. And he looks in shape big. Like, so he doesn't look like bloated. Like, you know how some guys, some boxers in their off season, they just balloon up and they look like any old type of weight and they just look soft and pudgy. Like he's not looking like that. He look, he's a gym rat and he's like staying in shape, but he just looks big. Like you look at the side of size of his head, you know, it, it's just, I don't know. You guys tell me if I'm tripping in the comment section. I really and truly don't know at the size he looks like if he can go back down safely and entertain the fight, no matter who it is, Shakur Stevenson or whatever. I mean, possibly Gervonta Davis, you might have to make that sacrifice because Gervonta Davis is an A-side. So if he wants it at 35, then you have to fight him at 35 or there won't be a fight because the A-side usually has jurisdiction on that. But outside of maybe, I don't know, maybe he could make the sacrifice for Gervonta Davis, but anybody else, I wouldn't necessarily even advise it because you don't want to, once you move forward, you don't really want to look backwards. And again, it looks like Devin has put on some good size in recent memory, you know? And the other thing is when Regis Progre, when he seen him at the first faceoff in the San Francisco, he mentioned how Devin Haney looked bigger. I think that was probably surprising to Regis Progre, to be honest, how big Devin Haney looked because he mentioned it a couple times that day about how Devin Haney was bigger and he was like, big don't win fights, bigger don't mean stronger, things like that. But I know he had to have at least peeped like, okay, Devin Haney, because my thing is this, if you're a fighter who fights at 140 and then you got a guy that's coming up, you're expecting the guy coming up, like you're from a lighter weight class than me. So you're expecting the guy coming up to actually look smaller, but I'm telling you, this modern age of boxing, they doing different stuff and like crunching down to these smaller divisions and no one really is is competing at their walk around weight. It's very rare that you find that guys that are actually because like even the little small divisions like I think it's um, Bam Rodriguez. He about to fight Sonny Edwards. Look at some recent pictures of, of Bam. He looked big and he's in them little weight classes. So most people aren't really rocking with that and whatever they they weigh and whatever their their walk around weight is, is much higher typically than where they're campaigning so they're squeezing down into these divisions so let me know what you guys think Devin Haney putting in some work with Freddie Roach also his size what do you think about that let me know that in the comment section I will keep you guys advised this is a fight I'm looking forward to let's close the year strong subscribe to the channel I am the best in the business and it's not even close we unpacked introducing super things Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube, Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation. Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. 
Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We working.